welcome back to brand new Blender tutorial on uh, today we're in Blender 2.8 and um um uh, it is actually like um been a long time since I kind of did a Minecraft video yeah I um in this video I'm going to tell you guys how to like put Minecraft and Blender with all kind of stuff look at this campfire it's so realistic as well I kind of installed um like an add-on cut MC prep like it's actually really good it kind of um, imports like it kind of make textures in Minecraft and also uh, mine ways imports like um, maps Minecraft maps into Blender which is also excellent um, also those both downloads will be linked down in the description if you guys want to download it and um uh, like further in the video I will tell you guys how to do that later and also let me check if my OBS work okay yep I always have to do that in order to make it work because else it might be not even on for the whole video. I just like talk nothing. I don't know why that happens sometimes, but I don't know. This is like my homemade, like new made house, like a couple of minutes ago, and now it's pretty cool looking with MC Prep on and stuff. So um, MC Prep updated to a new version, so you guys don't have to worry about any uh anything else. Uh, let me double check this. Actually, it's making me frustrated. All right, okay, things are getting good. Okay, so now um, first let's go check out how we can download MC um, Prep or let's first do, uh, I guess, Mindways because Mindways is probably the most important thing out of all. And if we click it now, we'll have like, um, this is called realtimerendering.com, which is like Mindways. You guys can download that um, in the link because I found this website and I kind of like shares this in the link down below and for now um, I'll show you guys how to download it and just so you guys know again my way to kind of circle stuff and then make it um in Minecraft first and then kind of make them blender you can use 3d print really cool um and also it's suitable for cinema 4d Maya, um, 3ds max shapeways sculptio and sketchfab and um so these are all the apps you can use it in but i think blender is the best so be sure to use that and it's a open free um like website you guys not a website um an app you guys can use so if i click download it will automatically download for me and boom my ways okay so now let's open um our file explorer once in downloads like we kind of drag it um where and like our file kind of if you don't have a file just like right click and like kind of new uh, folder and you can make a folder mine's already pretty full so i guess i'll use this um wait let me check if i have to ask for ones yeah i'm see prep and where is it Oh, my ways. Yep. Actually, I'm not gonna like get it right now, but you guys will get it. You guys can just drag it here, I guess. Um, I have my own like my way here, so I can like drag this one in order to like, I uh, guess here or something. Yeah. Yeah, I can. We can put this here. I already made a, made a folder, so I, it's kind of in here. And this is my way, so if you open my ways for my computer, it's kind of like 32 for some reason. So I can open 32, like, run. I probably your computer is just my ways that exe, but for my computer, it's like 32. Um, so click run. Okay, anyway, don't care about that. Um, so now file open. Um, if you have more than one, like, 50 world, you probably want to open this. I have a lot of maps going on here. Uh, my map is got New World 1, I believe, and click on level dot dot. So, um, okay, anyway. Um, so now we can circle, like, if you right click, like, an area you want, you can, like, uh, select how big you want the scene to be. For example, when it's super ginormous, I don't know, maybe, like, let it scroll it out. Actually, it's just gonna be, like, super duper big and it don't crash or sometime. I don't know why, but. Actually, um, this new version is way better than the versions before. And after you uh, kind of get the right thing you want, um, then you kind of want to export for rendering. And then if you kind of put this in your, like I also created um, like a single, like 
template folder and I can just kind of like name this house and monument. You guys can name it whatever you want. Let me just make this like over, you know, like change it all over. I don't want the original one. It's broken, literally. My original one, like the same map, but it's broken. So, um, yep. So now I have a lot of maps going on, but this one is my recent one. I have a lot of files, but you just have to follow one file. Okay, let me delete this. Okay, so now if we open Blender again, um, I like kind of. Has everybody seen things okay and OBS? Because I scared it will break for some reason. Uh, anyway, let's go back to Blender. Um, like after we circle the map, we want to go to import and then wavefront.obj. Um, click in the template folder. Um, and then click on our OBJ file. So like object file or the same thing if you want to call it. Why is it cut 6666? I have no idea. Okay, then we click on this mode. You guys will first like seeing this is so weird, right? This like grass even have dark stuff on it. This is so ugly. So finally we need to um, add a new thing which is called MC Prep. I just tell you guys in the front of the video. Um, intro of the video, I guess. Um, these things are super weird if you don't have MC Prep on and it will not look good at all. You don't want that to happen, so kind of um, go to MC Prep and then, like, uh, this is literally really cool. Um, look at these textures made by MC Prep, it's really good. Um, and um, so now you can ins download uh, MC Prep, I have a lot of stuff. Look at like. Um, just this one and become this one. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. I guess it also have a rig. I don't know. Anyway, I might make my own rig someday. Um, it's actually really good. So, uh, whatever. Let's now download MC Prep and um, boom. Also, if it don't download like automatically, you probably want to click here as well as me. So like, boom, and now it will kind of download it slowly but nicely. I guess that works sometimes, but sometimes it don't just automatically download. For me, I already installed it. Once you installed it, like um, you kind of I have one in the D folder thingy, and um, I'll kind of cut this to where it's like in minecraft animation and boom so now once we have this file on you will notice like um it doesn't change anything so we go got to go got to go in blender and then open edit mode under edit mode there's like edit there's like preferences and once you open preferences open add-ons and then you want to click um search for just MC prep so I already uh, equipped MC prep on so just like actually let me delete this really quick remove okay now I don't have MC prep for example like everybody probably don't have it right now so if I click install and then find the DIP file where it is here and boom so now um we will kind of get it yeah so MC prep enable it and now don't have to worry about anything. Just press in and um, so like empty prep, press prep materials. Okay, so now everything will look super nice and good, I guess. Look at these textures, beautiful, absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Oh my god, this improved for so much. I like MC Prep for a lot, so thank you for the creator to make such much things. And um, also, I'm gonna like check out the rigs later if I have time. It's pretty good, I guess. MC Prep stuff make it uh, really realistic and cool. So if you guys want to download it, link down in the description as well. Um, just to say it twice. Let me see if I can also do something like if I can change this to cycles and then. Like maybe you can change um, on ambient occlusion and environment texture, um, like this, and then maybe kind of uh, sky texture and um, skylight blue, for example. 
And now you will know, like that is how you change the sky. Simply you slap to uh, cycles mode, and then you click on world setting. You will kind of see the background and color, and you want to click on these like dot thingy, and then you want to click on environment texture, and then select it to this, which will be good. So now if we um get on in like rendered mode, which is really slow, um it will work eventually. If it does work, I will be pretty happy. So now the sky will be like blue and nice. You guys all have been waited for. You don't want a solid blue or solid dark or something because it's really ugly. Believe me. Don't have to like take a second try. This is actually. Let me check my recording if it's still fine. Alright. I don't know. This is really laggy. This is so weird. Maybe we can change this to GPU compute because maybe that will be better. Oh my god, why is it 120? Oh god, 68 is fine. I mean, come on. It's even lower. I don't know. It's gonna crash now. Um, so then you will have like a sky beautiful sky over there like i might want to end the recording so it might be like quicker i don't know obs take a lot of space sometimes so then this is how you get like um the backgrounds and stuff that people always wanted um and that is how you do it um so if you guys have any questions be sure to leave it in the comment section down below and um, hopefully it works right now. I really feel bad for you guys not to see this. But this is actually a very like, good image if I can take a like, Make it real. Oh, God. I can't even see anything. Every scene is blank. What happened? This is definitely not rendered for some reason. Is this what it is? No, it's not. Why is it like that? Nothing is rendering. I have no idea why. Yeah, it is. I told you. I don't know. My computer is lagging out really bad today. I have no idea. Maybe OBS is just too laggy. Um, anyway, if you guys have enjoyed the video and found it helpful, be sure to leave a like. And thank you guys so much for watching as well while my blender is crashing. And I will see you guys next time. Maybe in a new video. Um, also click that little bell if you want to um, get notification of new videos to come out. Um, so that's how you do it. Thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.